few companies have benefited more from the AI stock rally than NVIDIA. It was the chip maker's second quarter report last year that helped turn market sentiment dramatically around. NVIDIA's market cap has now soared to nearly $1.8 trillion, and it is now more valuable than Amazon, although that's a number that fluctuates. NVIDIA was the best performing stock on the S&P 500 last year, and it's leading the way year to date. The chief executive joining me at the World Government's Summit here in Dubai uh, told me what NVIDIA must do to stay on top. I will agree that we work on something that is very important to the world, that is uh, incredibly hard to do, that has taken us nearly three decades to refine. And now uh, this is the new way of doing computing, and uh, it's the most energy efficient, the most sustainable, the most cost effective way of doing computing. It's almost as if the quantum computer has been discovered. Uh, our technology now is powering every industry from, of course, entertainment to computing to biology and healthcare to climate technology to self-driving cars. And so this is, this is uh, probably one of the most impactful reinvention of computers as we know it in the last 60 years. Keeping your lead is not easy. How do you do it? I mean, is that the sort of thing that keeps you up at night? What's well, next, in other words? Inventing the next is hard, especially since if you're the pioneer in doing something, you're already the only person doing it. And so reinventing yourselves on a regular basis every single year, discovering new problems to solve, uh, new industries to enable, uh, new markets to open up, uh, we're constantly, constantly pushing ourselves to do that. Everybody is now thinking that they'd like to get into the chip business on this AI and on quantum. Then they're, they're going to find it's not easy, mm. but somebody might well succeed. Mm. Well, we can't control that. No. Yeah, we can't control that. And so there's not much to worry about there. What you ought to worry about is how do we reinvent ourselves? How do we create the next? What new applications can we enable? Can we help digital biology? become a field of engineering, not a field of sporadic science? Can we um, create a time machine so that we could see the future of climate change, but see it today? Build a computer that can predict climate two and a half billion times faster. You know, that's kind of the stuff that we ask ourselves. So if you keep your eye on that, is that the significant way rather than worrying about who's nipping at your heels? Who's next? What, you know, the, the, the comp People like myself always want to see it in linear or bilateral race terms. You're seeing it on a different plane. Our technology is, ex is, is uh, advancing at exponential rates. If you want to climb up an exponential curve, you better be looking ahead of you, not behind you. And so for us, focusing on the future makes the most sense. It's something you can control. It is much, much more inspiring. Um, we attract the world's best computer scientists, and they want to create the future, not worry about the past. What excites you? When you wake up, you know, not just oh, in the morning. Yeah. Jensen, you know, what happens inside, Jensen, when you, you see what's happening with your technology? You see something happening. You see a development. What happens inside, Jensen Hyman? Well, for the very first time in history, computer technology is about to close the technology gap. For the vast majority of my career, computing technology has been available to a few people, computer scientists, computer programmers, and the vast majority of people left behind. All of a sudden, artificial intelligence closed that gap. Very few people know how to program a computer. Everybody knows how to tell a computer what it needs in natural language, in human language. It's, it's kind of a miracle that after all these years, the programming language of a computer is human. <laughs> and what human doesn't know how to tell somebody else what they need, what they would like to have done, to request for a plan, to solve a problem. Um, everybody knows how to do that. And now for the very first time, a computer can understand that request, understand that prompt, 
and go come up with a solution to present to you for you to decide whether this is the best way 